Bebop 2 is a great little toy. I really like to fly around with it. But because the memory is not removable, you have to spend quite a lot of time to copy your files over either USB or Wi-Fi. I wanted to make it possible to copy the files straight to the USB stick. I went on the Parrots forum and I found a script for the Bebop 1 that does exactly the thing I wanted, but it didn't work on the Bebop 2. So I've ended up rewriting the script and now it works both on Bebop 1 and 2. And I've also added an extra function to change the recording location to the USB stick so you don't actually have to copy at all. It's gonna record straight to the pen drive and you don't need to do anything else. Let me just quickly show you how it's gonna work once the setup is done. So you plug your USB drive to the OTG adapter, plug into the drone, turn it on, connect to Wi-Fi, launch the FreeFlight app, start playing around, flying around, whatever. I'm just going to record a couple of seconds video here just to demonstrate. Once you've done, go back, check the memory. You've got your file on the internet memory. Now you press the power button three times on the drone. They're going to copy the file to the USB drive and they're going to leave the original copy into the drone as well. Now at this point you can unplug the USB, plug into your phone or computer, make sure the file is there and then if you're happy, press the power button six times on the drone and that's going to delete all the files from the internet memory. And that's it. Now if you want to change the recording location, you press the power button 8 times and then from then on, the people can record to the USB stick. When the props moves once, that means the script started. When the props moves twice, that means it's done. Before you do that, make sure there's nothing in the internal memory, otherwise it's not going to do it. So I'm just going to quickly record another video here, just to show you how it's like. Just a couple of seconds again just we did it before, but this time to the USB stick. Now when the recording is done, go back and check the memory again and it's gonna tell you there is no media, of course, because it's, this is the internal memory that shows you, but trust me, it's on there. If you wanna revert it back, you just press the power button nine times and it's gonna change it to the internal memory and then back to normal. This is what I've got on the pen drive after making this video plug into my phone, go open directory and there we go, four videos, just really short ones. This is the last one I've made. And now it's time to prepare our drone. Turn it on and then I'm gonna speed it up here just because it's boring. And then press the power button four times. This is gonna enable you to connect to the drone via a Talnet client. And the next thing is you need to go on your computer and download a Talnet client. I use PuTTY. Go on Google, type in PuTTY and then hit enter, go to the download page and download the PuTTY EXE. Then the next file you're going to need is the actual scripts. Um, you can find the link below the description. You just copy and paste into your browser, hit enter and then go ahead and download that one. And then open your downloads folder. Now we need to unzip the scripts. You can use the Windows built-in unzip thingy and then just go and extract the files and select all them files for um, right click and copy and at this point you will need to connect to the Bebop so Wi-Fi okay so far so good type into the address bar FTP colon slash slash 192.168.42.1 hit enter double click on internal memory right click paste it's all done we can close this window and then run party and then select talent and then type into the host name is 192.168.42.1 just like before click open and then go back to the folder that we've just unzipped and then on the how to text file there is a set of commands that you need to select and right click copy and you can close this window go back to the party and then with the right mouse click just simply paste it in and that's all done now this time the bebop gonna reboot and you're all done that's all set up ready to use now one more thing you need to do is format our pen drive plug it into your computer and when it appears, right click on it and format. And now you have to choose FAT32 file system because this is the only file system is supported by the Bebop. If you choose any other file system, it's not, just not gonna work. 
click start OK when it's done and that's it you can close this window and eject the pen drive right click and eject now if you happen to have a larger pen drive larger than 32 gigabytes unfortunately you can't format it in Windows because it just doesn't let you do it um, when you go to the format menu it just there is just no option for FAT32 there are other ways to format than pen drives but I'm not going to show you in this video now just one more thing about these USB drives you can use this long OTG adapter but I do not recommend it as it just hangs around even if you strap it it's not safe it gets in the way of the props instead use one of these tiny ones and then online you can find these little tiny OTG adapters or even you can get double ended OTG USB sticks but the problem with them is when you plug them in the drone they stick out too much and if you hit them with a branch before like flying you have an accident that they might just break I made this one myself with some hot glue and soldering that one works fine I like it but not everybody can make it I also found this on eBay which could be an option I've not tried it yet but it looks okay if you planning to record straight to the USB I do recommend get something like this Thank you for watching and if you have any questions just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it.